Welcome to Getting Started with Salesforce Essentials, Setting Up Your Organization. I'm Shanna Wilson, part of Essentials Customer Success here at Salesforce. In this video, you will learn how Essentials helps you organize your small business, key terminology to help you be successful, and steps for you and your admins to set up Salesforce Essentials. Before Essentials, you may be tracking your sales and managing your accounts on a spreadsheet. You may have important reminders on sticky notes and all of your meetings in your email calendar. We made Salesforce Essentials for small businesses just like you. Essentials helps you start instantly with out-of-the-box functionality. The platform can help you sell more by providing customer information all in one place and makes it easy to grow by adding applications to expand your business needs. Let's walk through a typical sales business process and how the terminology translates into Salesforce. This is generally a four-step process. First, a lead is anyone who may be interested in buying your products or services. Leads are names of people you may collect at a conference or through your website. Once you have a lead, you will contact and nurture them until they go from a lead to a qualified prospect. Next, when a lead shows strong interest in buying your products or services, they become an active prospect or an opportunity as we call it in Salesforce. Now they need to be tracked and managed in the opportunities object. And to do so, we need to take your lead and create a new account, contact and opportunity from your lead information. Once this is created, we then track these opportunities through the sales process. Additionally, accounts are also considered prospects, customers, partners, and more. Think of an account as the company or organization that you're working with. They can have one or more contact or opportunity that are associated with them. Finally, throughout the entire process, you can track activities like emails, meetings, and calls. You can also track cases, such as customer questions or feedback that are associated with any of your leads opportunities, or contact records. This way, you'll always know the history of each of your customers. As you can see, it all begins with leads. If I have contacted and nurtured my lead and have deemed it as qualified, then my lead will become an account, contact, and opportunity record. If the lead is not qualified, you mark the status as unqualified and can then set a reminder or task to come back to this lead at a later date. As you move into your Sales Essentials organization, you'll see that Essentials is equipped with in-product onboarding tools so you can get started fast and grow even faster. Step one of the Setup Assistant is Connect to Email and Activities. This step is where you will enable Einstein Activity Capture for your organization. Einstein Activity Capture, or EAC, automatically adds all of your emails and calendar events to relevant Salesforce records based on the contact email address. You'll be able to find activity added by you and your teammates under the activity timeline section within each record. Step two of the setup assistant, set up your team sales process, allows you to customize your opportunity sales stages. Sales stages are how you track where a prospect is within your business process as you're selling them your products or services. Essentials provides templates for different types of businesses, such as sales or project management, and you can also create your own by selecting other. Step three invites you to customize and add additional fields to each of your objects in order to suit your business. By opening the customize fields for your team setup, you can select each object you'd like to edit, such as the account or leads object. By clicking on an object and then selecting next, it will navigate you through the process of selecting and adding the appropriate fields for your business needs. Step four of the setup assistant helps you import your data. This tool, the data import wizard, allows you to import your current customer accounts, contacts, and leads and all of their associated fields using a CSV file. As a best practice, first make sure you clean up your existing data in the CSV file. This includes merging duplicates and updating old information before you complete your data import. 
Step five of the setup assistant is where you can easily invite your teammates to your essentials organization. The add users step is a short form where you will complete email, username, and profile type for each of your new users. You can also see how many licenses you have available at the bottom of the new user form. Step six, find helpful resources in the setup assistant takes you to the Essentials Success Hub page where you'll find resources and best practices. The videos and articles found here will help you throughout every step of your journey. Finally, step seven, remove your trial data will help you clean up your new Essentials organization. All accounts, contacts, leads, and opportunities that have sample in their title will be removed during this process. When the setup assistant is complete, you can continue learning and navigating your new Essentials organization. Every time you log in, you are greeted by this homepage. Here you have a quick view of your business performance, some recent news, today's events and tasks, along with much more. This homepage is 100% customizable to your business needs, so you can add, remove, and reorganize these features as you see fit. To the right of the Home tab, you can locate all of the additional tabs or objects that are related to your sales app. Your Sales Essentials organization also supports tracking service processes, such as customer support case management, which you can access by switching over in the App Launcher. As your business continues to grow, you can extend your functionality by installing apps from the Salesforce App Exchange. In this app store, you can find many third-party apps that seamlessly integrate with Essentials to help you expand your business capabilities. We're excited you're setting up your business on Salesforce Essentials, and we'd like to provide you with some additional ways to stay updated and get help. By joining the community, you can ask questions and stay up to date on all of the product information related to Essentials. In subscribing to our YouTube channel, you can check out all of our Essentials-specific video content. It's always great to follow us on our Twitter account where you can connect with others and continue to learn best practices. And finally, we welcome you to check out our help and training page where you can get documentation or create a support case if you need technical assistance.